Today, on our visit to Hill City, South Dakota, our dogs Apollo and Heidi experienced their first ever ride in a bike trailer. And Jim and I get to try out e-bikes as we venture out on the George S. Mickelson Trail. So right here in Hill City is the Burlington Northern Hill City Trailhead, one of 14 trailheads to access the 109-mile George S. Mickelson Trail. The Mickelson Trail is a multi-use trail open to pedestrian, equestrian, and bicycles. There is a $4 day-use fee and trail passes can be bought right here at the trailhead self-pay station or online. You can also get a yearly pass for just $15. The Hill City Trailhead is pretty much right in the middle of the trail. You can go south past Crazy Horse Memorial and into Custer or into Custer State Park. Or you can continue all the way south down to Edgemont. You can also head north from here to Rochford and then to Deadwood, which is the most northern part of the trail. So our adventure today begins at the bicycle and boat rental shop located right off the Burlington Northern Hill City Trailhead. The nice folks here are setting us up with e-bikes and a pet trailer for Apollo and Heidi to ride in. In addition to e-bikes, Renee and Andrea, a mother-daughter team, also rent kayaks, paddleboards, canoes and river tubes to use on the many local lakes and rivers. Check out the links to their website and social media in the description below the video. Good boy, Apollo. He's laying down. She's she, she's still antsy, but he's laying down. Oh, this is pretty, maybe. Right Apollo's really good. He's just laying down. He's having a good time. I think he could get used to this. So one thing we are starting to learn with the trailer is that you have to be conscious of the fact that your trailer tires are actually a little wider than your bicycle tires. So you have to make sure that you're not uh, running off the trail <laughs> or hidden bumps. But the dogs are getting used to it. They've never been in a trailer like that. And Apollo is really pretty calm. Heidi would want to explore so I can see she's got her nose up. She's sniffing around, she's looking around, but for the first time they're doing very good. How do you like your electric bike, honey? We're gonna get a couple of these. I just thought that uh, it would be cheating, but it's not because we're actually doing the work pedaling, and that's a great idea because my legs are sore. <laughs> so you're getting the exercise. I guess the deal with this thing is instead of riding one or two miles and being tired, you can ride 20 or 30 miles and be tired and still get an exercise. So, Good idea. Yeah, especially on a trail like this. What a gorgeous, beautiful trail this is, and just a gorgeous, gorgeous day to be bike riding. I 
don't know what they did with the top though, but I guess it's the same thing, right? Well, if you go back to the gym, you can see the If you head north from Hill City on the Mickelson Trail towards Rochford, you will get the opportunity to ride through three old railroad tunnels. Be sure to bring your rain gear as weather changes quickly and summer thunderstorms with heavy rain and even hail are quite common in this part of the Black Hills. raining right now big uh, thunderstorm really loud thunder and lightning so it's good we brought our ring gear oh, like the South Dakota baby <laughs> I love this stuff. I love this kind of weather when you're, you know, when you got shelter, what do you need? Yeah, boy. How far's the next page? It's just waiting there. Oh. For dog-friendly restaurants in both Rochford and Custer, check the description below the video. We'll share the ones that we visited and liked. Also, the Crazy Horse Memorial is dog-friendly. And of course, a very special thank you to both Renee and Andrea at Black Hills Paddle Sports for offering a pet-friendly rental option with the pet trailer and the e-bikes. Until next time, keep your paws on the road.